Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because why? We're listening for love, baby. Happy Sunday. Happy New Moon in Leo. Call up that Leo. Tell him you love him, baby. It's our season, okay? I'm a Leo, so. Anyways, I just always have to throw that in. So the way that these readings are going to go, we're going to go to a general oracle. We'll go into a general reading for love, singles, couples, and then all the signs. Guys, I always say I'm going to make these short. I, I, I try, but I can't. Yes, I talk too much. I love you. I love you. That's why. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Yes, baby. Let's get into this read. Let's see how things are going. All right. Now, if you like tarot, you like to have a good time, you like to laugh, you like happy hour, come join me Tuesdays from 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time on Instagram at Arena Luciano because it goes down, baby. We answer questions, we give away free reads, and we build a whole community going on up there okay oh that is delicious I've been drinking mimosas all morning okay are we ready so on the fourth which is today new moon in Leo 12 degrees what is that energy for you no other than fertility okay so like if you can't focus on um, having a baby you can plan a business make a business plan make some great intentions and move forward all right now on the, also on that day today, Venus enters into Virgo, so this is some really beautiful energy when it comes to love. We're getting to the nitty gritty, we're making a plan, and we're also focused on the details, babe, because what? Virgo don't play. Virgo ain't playing with nobody, okay? And especially with Venus there. It's like, what are we? What are we doing? What is this about? Because I like you, you like me, what are we gonna do? All right? Now, on the fifth, preparanse, okay? Mercury retrograde, four degrees virgo what does that mean well that's basically reassess readdress recollect and also pay lots of attention to what's trying to come back into your life is it the most healthiest thing for you what do we need to reconnect or not reconnect with because we're looking at the foundation with the number four and virgo looks at what the details now on the 14th, it takes a little shimmy chasse, let's do a little uh, achy breaky heart all the way down to Mercury retrograde enters into Leo. So things might get a little spicy, okay? A little spicy, just a little spicy. Then we have the full moon in Aquarius, ew, ew, Aquarius, 27 degrees. 27 comes down to a nine and you are focused on your financial health, wealth, and blessings, okay? So maybe we should do a live today. I don't know, should I do it live on Instagram or should I do live on YouTube? I haven't gone live on YouTube in forever. Anyways, we're focused on our financial health. We're focused on what's going forward, how we're going to do things, how we're going to move. How are we going to make that, that next huge climb in the next level, okay? Now, on that day, we also have Jupiter square Saturn, okay? Jupiter doesn't really like being in Gemini that much, okay? It doesn't really like it that much, but it's there. And Saturn is in Pisces, 17 degrees. 17 comes to that eight. And that energy is really telling you, like, you want to expand. You want the big things. You want to go to the next level. Saturn's like, what you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Because it's time to do something. And your energy is about finding your tribe. Okay, the, the giraffe represents the, mo the mother totem, and then also we had that fertility energy. This could be a lot of reconnecting with family, reconnecting with your role as a mother, reconnecting with your mother, or maybe not even reconnecting, but understanding where she came from. Okay, and I'm not one like, oh my God, that's your mom, you have to love her, you have, no. I believe in healthy boundaries, and I believe that sometimes we are put in situations that are not the healthiest, and no one should tell you how to be, okay? But if you'd like a reading, you can come hang out with me and we can process those emotions. All right, I also do a little bit of life coaching. Anyways, with that, we have this beautiful energy of the tribe coming in. There's a lot of soulmates coming in with these parents, but there is a reconnecting to either your inner child or to that of a childhood memory that's going to make you grow and develop, all right? Now, on the 21st, I want you to mark your calendar. Okay, I want you to know this, because why? It's this very special day. It's my 44th birthday, baby. Yeah, okay? It's going to be big. No, it's not. I probably won't do anything because my kids are going back to school, and I ain't had time to like even plan a birthday party for my baby whose birthday's on the 10th. So, <laughs> we're going 
gonna just take it on into Virgo season in this house, all right? Now, on the 22nd, it's Virgo season. Happy Virgo season, okay? And on the 28th, Mercury will be going direct in the sign of Leo, 21 degrees. So when the sign, when it goes direct, it means that it's stationed there and it's gonna take a pause, it's gonna take a break. So let's break down the number 21. What the two comes down to decisions and the one becomes down to your solidarity. What are you going to make your best decisions? And the three comes down to your future in communication, in reconnecting and reassessing and readdressing, especially with the confidence of a Leo. What are you going to do? All right. Then on the 28th, Venus says, you know what? Let me go visit Libra. Let me go help them out. You know, because Libras ain't hella fine. They are. Libras look good, but they're going to look even better because Venus is in their sign. All right. So that's the beautiful energy coming through there. So with that, um, let's talk about a yes or no question. I want you in your mind's eye to think of a yes or no question. Yes or no? What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Well, look at me leave a situation that no longer serves me, okay? Should I stay? Should I go? We'll find out. All right. So for question number one, whatever it is in your mind's eye, the answer is yes. Yes, yes, you're going to make the right decision. It's time to move forward. And it's time to do it with a little bit of love in your heart, okay? That's the lovers. For question number two, Hell yeah, fucking right. <laughs> okay, Lil Wayne is in my head. Go for it, Ace of Wands. It's definitely a yes, it's time to do the damn thing. It's time to move forward. I also feel like if there's something you wanna initiate, whether it's a business, a relationship, the next level, whatever it is, baby. It is time. All right, let's jump into this. Your animal energy this month is no is no other than el elefante. You the big bad baby coming through, okay? But I also love that it's showing the, the uh, like this connection like I like to point this out because some people don't have that relationship with their mother or father but this could be you and your inner child this could be a lot of healing and the thing about an elephant is they hear force first with their feet then their big old ears okay so pay attention to the vibrations that you're feeling this month to move forward open yourself up to true abundance remember we're focused on financial health that business is going to grow you're going to grow you're amazing you're prosperous and you're going to the next level okay now, the planet that wants to play with you today, Mercury says, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kick them daisies. They're looking at you because you got them daisy dukes on, baby. You looking fly, hella good. I love it, I love it, I love it. This energy is all about your communication. Communication even with yourself. And, and I love that it has the caduceus, and I'm probably saying it wrong, but the health of your communication. Pay attention to that throat chakra, okay? Your rune this month is Wunjo, okay? Wunjo, all right? Now, I don't know if somebody's having a baby, creating a business, starting a new relationship, but Wunjo is all about joy, happiness, summertime, summertime love, you know, and gold. Your color this month is gold. Lots of confidence coming through for you. Now, this would be a celebration, a marriage, happiness, happy family. There could be a lot of reconnecting going on. Now, that energy comes through with you, and in love, we are, we are, going towards someone for marriage, family, or they're coming towards us. There's so much motherly energy coming in your read. You know, maybe Gaia wants to connect with you because I hate forcing people to connect with their families because I don't know your life and I don't know your story, boo. And I know cancers struggle a lot with that relationship with their mothers. Not all, but a lot of them do or the lot that I work with. And so in these moments that we have this, this beautiful energy of the red rose coming through in this picture with the queen of roses, I would say this is a time to call on Mother Mary to help guide your heart and lead your words. All right, so let's jump into what do we have coming in for a general, general, okay, just messages for our beautiful Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is how they, they're, they're out like this. They got a confession. We got a gold digger. Ooh, they want your money. And the answer is no. Okay, they can't have it, baby. Could be a possible earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Virgo. Lucky days so far. The 2nd, the 8th, and the 20th. 
okay? So let's just kind of get into it. Let's see what's going on here. I'm going to use the Messages of Love deck because why not, all right? What is this confession about? What are we confessing? What are we talking about? We are talking about, I see your side of the story. So someone is really trying to understand. I also, this is a random message. I don't know if you've been looking at a lot of old family pictures and trying to understand things, but I do believe the answers are going to come out. And I do believe some of y'all have some psychic abilities and the pictures are gonna start talking to your spirit. Now, the gold digger said, I should have expressed myself better and they're holding something back, holding back the damn dirty truth about money. Ah! values okay we have different values maybe cancer you're more about saving preparing for the future and this individual is like ah fuck it two sheets to the wind let's go have a great time and what is this no about no 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 unsatisfied we're no longer going to sit in a relationship or a situation a job a friendship a partnership a family that we're just not happy with the way things are going because we're going to have the confidence to speak up for ourselves and move forward all right it's not always about love love okay and i know these are love readings but i love pizza no. <laughs> i have a bad habit of saying that when someone says i love you i'm like and i love pizza because i'm i need to work on that i don't know but this is you really understanding that someone is holding back. Y'all have different values and you're not satisfied about something. Okay. Who is Mimosas is kicking my ass. Okay. We come out of this month a little bit upset about love with the five of cups. We're not feeling it. Okay. Because we could do a better by ourselves. Gosh, dog it. <laughs> I'm better on my own. Cats are sick. Get the hell out. Okay. And we want something fun, fresh, young, page of wands, energy. Also, I want you to pay attention that this is a zebra, okay? A zebra stripes are very unique. There's also something about black and white animals saying, um, balancing the masculine and feminine energy. And I do feel like there's something about you really focused on your abundance because of that lizard in their hand. And look, the lizard is giving you the ace of wands. So you could have come into some money. Your business could be doing good. You could have gotten a promotion, getting a raise, something really, really great's happening. And your partner's thinking, cha-ching, I hit the damn jackpot. And you're like, no, bro, you got to get a job. You got to go work, boo. Overall, this month, we are focused on our family, the Ten of Pentacles. There is a lot of financial increase coming in for you this month. It's beautiful, all right? Because you are strong, baby. You strong, baby. You got the muscles. You're looking good. This is your month, okay? So we have one cup, one emotion, and the emotion is a lot of sadness. It's falling underneath that understanding, okay? And I feel like there's something that, that we need to understand, okay? That if it didn't work one time, doesn't mean it's never gonna work. And those are for, that, that message is for someone who's like, I give up on love, because it's just never gonna happen. But it is. It is gonna happen. And it may happen at the most unexpected time, okay? And that's the Leo in me, right? Something's gonna grow, something's gonna develop. The page of wands says everything's going to work out. It's going to balance out. If you're in a court case, it's going to work in your favor. Set yourself free from shitty situations. Go get something new. And the Ten of Pentacles says you're going to have the balance and the time and the energy to do everything you need to do. The strength card said, baby, put a little love in your heart. Let's go invest in the best thing in the world. And that's you. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on, boo-boos. Let's see. We're oh, give me a second. I got, I got a little carried away and dropped a cord, okay? Yeah, I'm real comfortable today, y'all. Don't, don't think I'll be dressed up. I'm, I got my leggings on, okay? I've been sitting here for a long time, baby. It's a long time. Okay, we're going into our singles and ready to mingle. This is for my beautiful singles. We got Cancer Scorpio Pisces, possibly you. I move on. Someone is unavailable and a damn dirty waste of time, okay? And pets. Someone's pets could be getting on your nerves, okay? <laughs> the car said yes. So there's either like something about you want to move because someone had pets or like the pets are becoming too much, something of that nature. Where did the other cards go? I wanted the situation deck. Situation deck? Oh. Where are you, situation deck? Here. Here I am. <laughs> All right, water signs. What is the message for the water signs here? These two cards wanted to come out. We have cutting ties, moving on. Receive what you need and you're moving. Like there's something about really moving on this month. Yeah, and cutting down. So we're definitely cutting ties. We're separating. We're also stopping a pattern. So something that's really hard is like in dating, right? In dating, we often say, oh my gosh, I keep meeting the same person. Well, what's the common denominator, beautiful? 
It's you. So when we're in a situation where we want something different, we've got to do something different. So if you normally go for something, I'm not saying don't go for someone you're not attracted to, but start paying attention to different things of the, the relationship, you know? Do something different. Move on, okay? You're in a new phase. You need to renew yourself. Rise from the ashes. And I have pets and partying. So we got Petey Pablo in the house. I'm just playing. Anyways, I don't know. The we got to came to my head. Anyways, this is about you going out more, having fun, enjoying being single, okay? And yes, uh, you have been in a karmic relationship for a while, whether y'all are together or not. But it's like it's time to cut ties with the karmic and it's time to move forward with a divine partnership. Even if that divine partnership is just within yourself and your higher self, okay? So let's see what's coming in for you this month. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Put a little love in your heart. All right, we got the Ace of Cups. We got big changes coming in with that Death card. All right, and then overall, we're going to stop giving so much cancer until we get it back, okay? We are releasing the wheel. We're moving forward. We're moving on. And the outcome is us, the chariot. This represents cancer. And then overall, we have the ace of swords. I wanted to say cups, but the ace of cups is right here. So let's break this down, right? Two aces in a read is very significant to um, a contract. You can hear my daughter laughing. She's like having way too much fun, right? Just my oldest, the quiet one. Aww. She's only quiet when she's around me, but then the door shuts. It's like, I don't know. She's my Scorpio. Anyways, I'm going to say the first you got, you got, you got some information on the first of the month. Maybe you didn't really like that information, but it was something very important for you to kind of process. Now, as we're moving into this month and we're going forward, there's this energy coming in of we have got to make some changes. These changes are huge. We have got to stop giving so many Fs, okay? Why do you give so, why do you care? Easier said than done, right? Six of Pentacles wants you to focus on your sacral. You look like an S show, a shit show, okay? You're a hot mess, clean yourself up, clean it up. Okay, if you've been eating really bad, clean that up. If you've been drinking too much, drink some water, okay? Eat some lunch. You're the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on yourself. Buy your own damn drinks. I just said not to drink. Another orange, okay? And then we have figure shit out on your own. And don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be a sneaking lion bastard, okay? So this is a lot of you really focusing on development of the self, right? Like we are going to enjoy being single. We're going to move on from situations that don't make us feel worthy because the wheel is here and we're moving forward. Okay. So what does the Ace of Cups want them to know? Ace of Cups wants you to know the King of Pentacles. Uh, Cap, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone makes you feel like unworthy of love. They could have betrayed you in the past with the Three of Swords, okay? So we're going to change that. We're going to change the story with the Death and Rebirth card, and we're going to do it very quietly with the Hermit. You could even possibly have seen this person out with someone else, or they saw you out with someone else, and we're like playing a little game of the Five of Swords. We're stabbing each other in the back, okay? So in order to heal with the star, the Six of Pentacles, remember we're, what I just told you earlier, you look at a little, a little crazy, baby. Pull it together. Clean it up. You're the best thing that ever happened to you, okay? And remember that. You have to heal that narrative. What are we releasing here with the wheel? The wheel says Six of Swords. It's time to go. It's time to set sail, my love. It's time to leave that situation in the past. And it's time to remember that you are the author of your story. You are the creator of your destiny. And the stories that are going to be remembered are the ones you keep telling yourself. So if you keep focused on who betrayed you, what they did to you, how bad they hurt you, that's what you're going to always remember. And I want to say be very careful with drinking, okay? Someone might ask you out for a drink. It's probably not the best thing, okay? Drink at home. I do. The chariot says you have a major victory coming in. That balance is coming in with the black and white horses. And then I have the knave of wands. So there could be a young fire sign that wants to come on through, baby. 
and then I have the Queen of Pentacles, and I love how she's like, she's like, look at this. You want a suckle of the zipple? Baby, you guys, you gotta, you gotta worship me. You gotta make sure that you know what you got, okay? Because we're not playing this game. And then there's that past right there that you could really be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone sees your worth, okay? And the thing is, everybody can see your worth, Cancer, but do you? Do you see your worth? Do you know your worth? Do you know how amazing you are? And why are we focused on this King of Pentacles stuff? Let that go, okay? And remember, you're the King of Cups. You rule this. There's two kings in your read, so there's also possible recognition at work. Something beautiful is coming through for you. So, looking at this, I'm going to say... Pay attention to the 16th, okay? We do have the Knave of Wands coming in, so we'll look at that. This could be a Leo, because I have the Leo card looking at me. But there's someone who wants to come in and bring in a good a good time for you, okay? So I feel like you're leaving something behind, whether it's a person, the, the story you've been telling yourself. This is a month of healing and recognizing your worth. A lot of times we get focused on how things didn't work, how things aren't working for us. Poor me, poor me, poor me. And it's easy to get stuck there, guys. It's easy to, to get in that mindset. And that's not where you need to be, okay? We are strong, we are powerful, and we are the creators of our destiny. Yes, bullshit happens. Yes, bad things happen. But that is not your story, okay? So let's look to see who this Knave of Wands is coming in. How do they look? How is this sexy Knave of Wands? Young, fun, and full of... Stun. Okay, let's see what we got here. How do they look? How do they look? How do they look? Let's see. We have Aries energy. They got a big forehead. They strong. They little wild. I like it. Okay. And the 21 is coming in. We got Gemini energy. We got some thick thighs, save lives. They're athletic. They're fit. They're, they could be younger. Okay. There's nothing wrong with younger. Okay. Nothing wrong. We have tall, flat chested, we have the clock tower coming in, and this is the energy of Capricorn. And then we have, a, I think that's Gemini, I think it's the letters Gemini. Wait a minute. Skinny, slim, I'd like to say slim, thick, okay. Um, someone who likes to talk a lot, someone who has a lot of information. And by the way these cards look, I'm going to tell you, you feel very blocked in love. There's something new coming out of nowhere when you visit like a new building or you're going to go for a training. There's something new there and then you get some new information, okay. This person also has some BDB eyes. I love BDB eyes. They're like little teddy bear eyes. They have a very interesting nose because the longer the nose, the longer the hose. And there's something about their voice that you really enjoy. Okay. So more clues for my beautiful cancer. What do we have? We have these boots on me for walking. So I'm going to say like with the boots showing up with the mountain, um, this person knows how to dress. Okay. They could work outside. Then, uh, then we got the thigh gap with the riders. So they definitely got some nice thighs, baby. Nice thighs. And the building, the clock tower with the DJ. Music is very important to you guys. And they, they could be learning another language or they could be from um, a different country. They want to, can, can I get you a drink? Can we go for coffee? Would you like to meet up? There's something about the 12th, okay? And definitely 21, all right, because it's my birthday and you got to come see me. I'm just kidding. So those are some clues coming in for you about the individual that has their eye on you. They also have very interesting hair because the man bun is looking at me. So they could like have like a different kind of haircut or something different that you're not used to. So with that being said, what are their initials? What are their initials? What are some letters we can see? Let's see. I pulled out. Okay, we got A for Ari. It's me or Adam. We got a blank. We got an I for Isaac, ew, Inez, and a D for David, ew. I love me some David. I'm just like, yeah, maybe a little. Anyways, David, Diana, Dirty Diana, I don't know. Okay, so for those of you who are not in contact with somebody and you're wondering how they feel about you, we'll look at that real quick. Not in contact, let's see. They are talking about you, gossip, 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 because they miss you, the absence, okay, and they regret it. 
baby they miss you they miss the cancer probably because you cook so good you look so good and you're good in the bedroom cancer all right let's see you're always on my mind i can't let you go i'm on my way to you damn mercury retrograde i don't know how to handle my emotions right now i'm afraid of commitment then stay the hell away baby because you can't come and play all right, and I want to reach out to you and don't know how this could be someone that you cut off and I should have fought for you I think this person believes some bullshit or they, they didn't fight as hard because they were ashamed of what they did but they do talk about you they do miss you and they do regret it and may they always okay may they always so let's get into our beautiful couples what's up with the couples what's going on couples Cancer couples, they'll be back. Uh-oh. That earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but there was someone else in the mix. And overall, we need a vacation. So the way that I look at someone in the mix, like sometimes I think about like maybe it's a family member, maybe you have like just an extra coworker, someone who's just like getting in the way of you and your baby having a good time, okay? I didn't like that energy. Like stay the hell away, okay? So who will be back? What's they'll be back? Let's see. Now, let's see. We have the runner. So this was a situation where possibly <clears throat> you were, there was a really intense relationship that you had and you kept letting it go and they kept wanting to come back. It's like this runner chase, runner chaser energy. So that's coming back. Let's see our signs. What's going on? Yeah, they're, they are partying. They're living their best life. But they miss the paradise. They miss the happiness. And then what's this someone else? New face. Um, changing your and twin flame. Okay, look. There's someone who could be like in your ear about stuff. Proceed with caution, okay? And with vacation, making new memories. There's something about making really beautiful memories with the person you're with, enjoying them, taking lots of pictures, being happy, you know, moving forward. Okay, so let's break this down. What is Cancer's person thinking? What is their story? What is their energy this month? We have that at the Two of Wands. Major decisions coming in for this individual. Should they give you the key? Should they take the key? What's going on? Okay. They're thinking about this new beginning. They're thinking about starting fresh, starting new, a new path. Okay, how do they see cancer this month? They don't know how to read you. You're kind of sad. We're going to have to look into that. How is cancer's person acting? Like an a-hole. No, I'm just kidding. King of Swords. This is Gemini Libra Aquarius Energy. However, this is somebody who is like very pensive on how they're going to speak, what they're going to say. I say this is big boss energy, Okay. What comes between you guys is a major decision this month, and um, it leaves somebody feeling a little bit betrayed, a little bit out in the cold, okay? But overall, we have the Six of Swords. We're moving on. It might have been a slow decision that we have to make, and when I say moving on, it does not mean like y'all are breaking up. Okay, and the way that I sometimes like I get really upset when I hear reads like, oh, it's horrible. Look, everybody is in different things. So there's going to be parts of this read that could resonate with you and other parts that don't make any sense to you. If you're if it doesn't make sense to you, don't go think that your partner is cheating. A third party could just simply be like your mother in law, your kids. Somebody's just getting in the way of the way the flow is. Okay, or it could be a third party. All right. So I have here the King of Pentacles with the Three of Swords with the Two of Wands. So this energy that's coming through with this Two of Wands is a major decision. It could be a work decision. We do feel something coming through. Three of Swords, give me this again. We don't want to talk about it. The Nine of Wands. We're very defensive about something in the past. And you know, it's interesting, like she's unlocking the, the door. Like she's unlocking something. There's something that comes out this month that you don't really know how y'all are going to handle that, okay? The Ace of Wands with the Chariot. So we're going to go on a trip. We're going to go. We're going to make a decision. We know we want to move forward. We know he, They know that they want to do something different with you. Two of Wands again. They're going to have a conversation. This conversation is um, don't over drink at this conversation, okay? Don't over drink at this conversation. Make sure that you are sober-minded. 
There's also something that could have happened somewhere where somebody had a little too many drinks, okay? And here you are at the Five of Cups, very disappointed. The hangman. I'm gonna say someone, this is not for all. There's somebody who's dealing with a partner who over drinks. They could get in trouble drink drunk driving. You're very upset about it or make an embarrassment of you at a situation. I have the higher fit. There has something that's gotta change about hanging on to something. Um, and we need to grow. So your partner sees you as someone who's been like kind of holding on to a lot of things and we need to move forward. King of Swords wants you to know the Six of Wands. Let's go. Let's do it. I want to go. But they see you as their divine partner with the Queen of Swords. But y'all both some damn dirty, stubborn people, okay? What is this major decision about? We have justice. Some of us are like, look, we have to, we're at this fork in the road. Are we getting married? What are we moving forward? Is there a court case? What's going on? Okay, and here's the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like your partner really looks at you for balance. They also know that you're a, you're a big giver. They're coming back to ask for help. And I think it feels like for some, you feel very hurt by this. Yeah, there's that trip, that Nine of Swords with that Ten. We're remembering something from the past with the Six of Cups. And we kind of feel like we have to watch our back about this situation. Overall, I have the Three of Cups. We're going to go ahead and celebrate. We're going to go ahead and do this. But here we have the Magician. So I kind of feel like somebody wants to take back that power, own their power, and come back. Because something from the past keeps resurfacing. Okay, so what do we do in situations where things keep resurfacing? What we need to do is sit down with ourselves first and process that and ask ourselves, what is it that we really want out of this situation? Do I really want to stay with this person? What is, what is it that I'm looking for when I confront them? What, am, what is the ultimate thing I want, right? And is it possible? So this is one of those months that we're making major decisions. There's a lot of recognition for you at work, possible promotion. Um, I would say if your partner is drinking and driving or you are, be very careful. Okay, very, very careful. Um, there's this energy also that the seventh could be very important for you. I do feel that you guys are a divine pair. I do feel like you guys are trying to move forward. But I do think communication is an issue between y'all. We got to learn how to talk about something, okay? Um, let's get some guidance here. Energy for this month in this situation or in Cancer's story. There's a snake. There's that betrayal at a social event, okay? It could come from someone else. There's something about a secret coming out, information coming out, uh, a friend, a secret friend um, that's very close to your heart. And you just require peace. You just want peace. Give me more on the dog. Give me more on the dog. The tree. This is an old friend or the health of a friend that you thought was stable with the anchor. And then there's the gossip. What does the locket suggest? We have the bear. It's an overburden on your heart that leaves you at a crossroad by the full moon. Okay, or this secret that this is information. You're getting information about something that happened at an event, something between you and a friend. There is something coming out. You don't know how to handle it. It's going to be a little bit rough around the edges for you. So I'm going to say prepare. Think before you speak. Okay. Watch your drinking this month. Okay, let's see here. Or if you partake in other kinds of extracurricular things. Guidance for my beautiful... Um, cancers pay attention to your sacral okay pay attention to that your second chakra there is some heartbreak coming through don't get tied up in the details what does the second chakra want us to know focus on your heart so this is also for those who might have an option to maybe step out of a relationship think before you do it think okay broken hearted there you are thinking you're thinking about something and don't get caught up walk away there's somebody who's going to go to focus on your money okay there's somebody who's going to go to a party or go to like a social event somebody's going to really hit on you they're going to make you feel really good this is not for everybody you may be tempted to step out of your relationship or your partner might this is one of those moments where you have to really think about what it is that you truly want it, even with the retrograde coming in it could be somebody who just wants to come back into your life and you've already moved on to another relationship so mindfulness 
Mindfulness is going to be something that helps you. And again, sober mindedness. Okay. Important dates, the first, the second, the seventh, the eighth, the twelfth, sixteenth, twentieth, and twenty-first. And this is the part of the reading where we go Aries to Pisces. Okay. Aries to Pisces. Let's see what we got going on. We're going to cut this deck. So we have like, um, I feel like you're going to be taken back by some information that comes out. This information is not going to be the friendliest information. The seven of swords is almost like a, uh oh, you know, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. All right. And maybe it's not in your relationship. Maybe it was with a friend, like in the couple's read, you know, that friend who went and spilled your beans that shouldn't have spilled them. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Are we ready? Are we ready? We have a six. Okay, so Cancer, you're over here with the broken promises, 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 okay? <laughs> and Aries is like, what? I can't believe this is going on. And we're at a crossroads and we have to make a decision. I do think that there's going to be a false sense of peace coming in for you guys. But we really need to talk about it, okay? The 11th could be important. Here you are, long, strong, and ready to get the friction on with the Ace of Wands. You are ready to go for this. Taurus is not ready for a, I want to say, a traditional relationship. And they're also not feeling themselves because their card is reversed. The solution is to take a break, okay? Take a break. Let's heal. Let's talk about it. The 20th. Here you are healing. You're also working on your communication. And it's interesting that that brown dog is there because from the couples read, you could be healing about what happened at that party, okay, or gathering. Gemini is stuck, okay? Gemini could also be the partner who got caught drinking and driving, okay? And we need to rebirth this relationship and figure out what we really want. The fifth could be important. Here you are carrying your love with me. West Virginia down to Tennessee. What? Ah, all right, George. Okay. I'm just like, you are full of love. You're the princess of cups. And the cancer, another cancer is all cried out over you. And you just filling up their cup. You're just like, let me keep giving you some more. Let me give you some more over here. The solution. I do think that there is either interference with the children or someone who wants to come between you guys. The 17th could be important. Cancer, you're focused on the family. Ten of Cups. And Leo does not like the way things are ending with you guys. They feel very betrayed. And they feel like you're manipulating. Okay? Remember, that's just what they feel. The second could be important. Here you are looking towards the future, having a good time. Virgo says, I got my cup of love for you, baby. I love you. But I don't know if it's love, okay? Because with the two of cups is reversed and you got your back to it, the tenth could be important. It's almost like you're not really feeling them. You're like, mm, getting on my nerves, okay? Here you are, having a good time, nine of wands, you got your boundaries, moving forward, and Libra has finally made a decision. Seven of cups reversed, and the solution is they're going to let you in. There's also something about somebody moving in with each other, okay? The twelfth could be important. Look at you, Cancer. You're breaking all your bad habits. I like you. And Scorpio is stuck. They don't see that things are moving in the right direction. And the wheel is saying move to something new. Okay, so you are going different ways. The fifth could be important. Here you are, you're stuck all up in your head, baby. Seven of Pentacles. And Sagittarius said, can we talk for a minute? Ow, ow, ow. And somebody's getting in the mix. No, we're not talking, okay? We can't even talk, all right? Because somebody gets in the way. The fourth could be important. New moon, okay? Here we are, the seven of wands reversed, okay? So we don't want to face this fear. And Capricorn feels very betrayed with the five of swords. And we've been praying about this situation, but we're not listening to what our spirit guides are talking about. And they say, put a little love in your heart, okay? We got to put some love in our heart. Lucky day, the 20th. Here you are as the Queen of Pentacles reversed. There could be some financial issues. It could just be things aren't just working out the way that you want them to. And Aquarius is walking away. Four cups. Because they wanted it my way or the highway, baby. I said my way. And you're like, I'm not budging. The eighth. Here you are as the Ten of Pentacles. 
and Pisces wants all your pentacles. They're a little imbalanced right now financially. They need more help, but they're not telling you this, and it could be causing problems in the relationship. The date is the 16th for you. So that's what I have for you, my beautiful Cancers. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month. Be sure that you stay tuned. Come hang out with me on Instagram. Don't forget these are timestamped. And be sure you hit that like, share, and comment. Take care. Bye.